What's good? It's your boy, King Henry. I know it's been a while, you guys. I know. I know it's been about a month since y'all seen me, but you know I got some old goodies. I had to uh, take a little hiatus because sometimes I be doing stuff and then I be like, man, I'm bored. I'm sick of doing that. I ain't doing that no more. But uh, I'm back, y'all, because, you know, I know y'all miss these videos and I miss providing the videos for y'all. And we got a whole bunch more stuff we got to go through. So y'all know, I'm happy to say it. <laughs> y'all already know it. <laughs> we back at it again. Oh my God, back at it again. Back at it. If you're new to this channel, make sure you go ahead and click like, click subscribe, leave a little comment if you want to. And y'all, y'all, guess what? We just hit 100 subscribers. Oh my God. We hit 100 subscribers, y'all. That is uh, it's a good accomplishment, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Let me know that, you know, some of y'all actually appreciate you know, the content that I'm providing, or at least a hundred of y'all. If you've been rocking with your boy, you've been watching all my videos, you know what I'm saying? You done click like, you done let me a little comment, you done hit subscribe, because your boy love it when you hit subscribe. I just wanted to let you know. I just wanted to say, thanks. You're my special friend. Special friend. Yeah, we BFFs forever. You know, you rocking with your boy and your boy rocking with you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all came for the Ralph and I'm gonna provide the Ralph. Y'all came for the drill and I'm gonna provide the drill. But I ain't gonna keep y'all on today. I just really wanted to hop on here to show y'all that I collected the whole family. The whole family. I got the whole family of collegiate jean jackets. And I'm really proud of myself because this is one collection that I actually sought out for and that I actually completed. And you know, because a lot of these pieces are older pieces, like years and years old, came out years ago, you know, so there's a limited amount of them on the market. And the ones that are on the market, you know, <laughs> they're trying to crack heads for them. But I was able to complete this uh, collection and I'm gonna honestly say for maybe a roughly around I'm gonna say about 350 375 I was able to complete this collection because a lot of these jean jackets just a piece you know what I'm saying going for 300 400 dollars you know depending on where you find them like I said I got the whole entire family you know what I'm saying? There is one jacket that I did not get because I already got the corduroy version of it. So I just thought it would have just been too much to get the jean jacket version of it. And uh, we definitely gonna get into my mannequin because y'all already know my mannequin. <laughs> I can't even speak today. But my mannequin stay with that drip drop. Mannequin stay with that splish splash. Mannequin stay with that, yes sir. This that splash. That's that splash right Matter of fact, Matter of fact, let's bring him a little closer. Get closer, oh, get closer. I'm burning now. Just love me till you don't know how. All right, y'all, we got my mannequin right here. Of course, he got that drip drop on, that splish splash, of course. You know, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on right here. This jacket right here, this right here. This right here is my sway, sway. Man, this jacket is definitely a piece that you wanna acquire and equip yourself in your Ralph Lauren, you know, polo arsenal because this jacket right here, when it came out, it probably was about five, six, hundred dollars you know what i'm saying somewhere it was somewhere up there i'm not really really 100 sure but i'm pretty sure let's go ahead and start on the inside so on the inside i got a plain white oxford you know that just goes with anything of course and then i don't even know the design of this tie right here but it's a real vintage type of tie with a real vintage type of um um style to it got the tweed of course not the weed the tweed you feel me I always keep this vest on everything because it just hits with everything you feel me and on the outside let's get into it let's go 
<laughs> literally. <laughs> so I got the corduroy, navy blue corduroy jacket. Y'all seen me on the ground, you know what I'm saying, going hard with the with the fit that I had on with it. So had to throw on this to give it that extra little 90s vibe, you know, with the corduroy. And um, and let's get into uh, some of the patches um, that we got on, some of the embroidery that we got on it. So first you got Ralph, you know what I'm saying, Ralph gang, 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 gang. You feel me? Ralph right here, C, I don't know what the C stands for. I'm thinking maybe like championships. If you know, please leave me a comment. You know, put me up on game because I would really like to know. On the side, you got a patch right here, championship patch, of course. Uh, football patch. Uh, it says RL Athletic Team East Division Championship 1995. And y'all, I actually read that pretty good because y'all really know I can't really read like that for real. You stupid. No, not. What's nine plus ten? Twenty-one. You stupid. But I gotta pat myself on the back because I read that pretty good. <laughs> Yo. You stupid. No, not. On the right hand side of this beautiful jacket masterpiece, you got sixty-seven, which is the year Ralph was founded, of course. On to the next. You got these pins right here. You got a Trojan pin and you got a captain pin right there. And y'all, it actually came with a third pin, uh, which was a P-Wing pin that I lost and I was super pissed. Super pissed when I lost that pin because I could have lost any of the other pins I wouldn't care. But the P-Wing pin, I was just like, I was hurt, you guys. I was really hurt. But on to the next, you know, you got uh, our alarm right here, embroidered right there, which is just a nice little touch. This jacket right here, like I said, this is this is a big boy, this is a big boy piece right here, man. This is a big boy piece, no cap. So over here, uh, you got uh, Eastern League number three, 57 through 59 RL varsity team. Uh, uh, I don't even know what the rest of that say. I really can't read cursive like that for real, even worse than regular words. You stupid. No, not. What's nine plus ten? Twenty-one. You stupid. But that embroidery just goes just tough. Like the embroidery on this jacket is just so fire. Unmatched, I'm just telling you. And they got a green one that they just recently came out with. I'm gonna have to get my hands on that. Uh, you know, it's up there. I, actually, I got a whole wedding. I'm getting married in a few of you guys. So I can't be dropping these stacks and racks on Ralph Lauren right now. I gotta pay to have this beautiful day with my baby. You feel me? So on the back of the mannequin, you got this overall just fire piece right here, man. Like so fire, so many elements to it. On the top, you got Spartans. You got the Trojan uh, big boy patch to actually match the pin, which is a nice little touch. On the bottom, you got Polo RL, which is Polo, Mr. Ralph Lauren himself. You know what I'm saying? The back of this is just going dummy. Everybody gonna see you when you walk in the room. They gonna be like, oh, he ain't playing. That boy got on that splat. This, that splat. That's that splat right there. Yeah, and you know, I ain't playing when I come through. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a big stepper. No cap, no kizzy. But, like I said, you know, this is a nice piece right here. You know, I'm gonna pat myself on the back for putting this together because it's giving, it's giving me 90s vibe. You know what I'm saying? It's giving what it's supposed to give. You feel me? So, that's my mannequin. You know what I'm saying? He gonna stay fly as long as I'm fly. You know what I'm saying? Cause, you know, I don't know, whatever. Now let's get my dog out of the way and let's move on to what y'all came to see today. All right, so for this first piece, y'all, this is a big boy piece right here. You know what I'm saying? We ain't playing games with it. You feel me? Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is a big boy piece. When I got this piece right here, I was just like, I'm about to not. <laughs> How did I get my hands on this for such a good price? Thank you, Jesus. That's all I'm gonna say. My nigga. 
<laughs> but let's get into it, you guys. Yes, sir. As you all can see, yeah, yeah. And a lot of these pieces, I've already worn them and flexed on them on the ground. So, you know, some of y'all are going to have already seen this if you follow me on the, on the Grizzam. You feel me? Right here, you got your um, collegiate dark black. I don't know what even what the color. I don't even know what the color is. Um, I would say grayish, I guess. You got your collegiate uh, jean jacket right here. Um, on the side, you got the embroidery. Uh, going crazy right there. Details, everything going crazy on this jacket right here. Got your big uh, polo patch right there with the football, you know what I'm saying, with the chimps embroidered, you know, just going crazy. The front of this jacket is going crazy, you guys. I probably paid like 110 for it. I ain't even going to cap to you. But this right here, this right here is my sweat. Man, this is an iconic piece. I already know um, that I could probably resell this jacket for $250, $300, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's how much they going for. Yeah, no cap. Let's get into the back of it. So on the back, you got the big boy bulldog going crazy. You got the RL Varsity patches this not even this is why this this jacket goes so hard y'all all this on the back are patches from the letters to the bulldog this is a big patch and it's not just like a stitch patch that they just threw on there it's like a furry type of patch you know what i'm saying the details on this bad boy right here are just so immaculate it's just so crazy uh i love it got it for a great price um so happy with this pickup man so happy and it's football so i'm guessing georgia you know bulldogs football i don't know somebody leave me a comment put me up on game but like i said this jacket so far y'all gonna see me in some more fits with this of course um it's just it's too far man big p going crazy you know what i'm saying bulldog on the back going crazy yes sir all right, on to the next. You know, this one is fire too, man. Like, all these joints is fire. The whole family is fire. You know what I'm saying? So when I got this one, I was just super ecstatic as well, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And this is one of the newer ones. I think this is the latest one right here. Like, this is, this is the last one for them to drop right here. You know what I'm saying? You know, wow. Yeah, because this is when they started to switch up the uh, the pea patch. You know what I'm saying? They put more detail in it. They actually got a football player running on the pea. You know what I'm saying? They don't have as much embroidering on the right hand side, but the details of the jacket is 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 immaculate. Like it's just they always find a way to take something out and then put something else in that's just gonna make the whole overall outfit just go pop, you know what I'm saying? Go pop, go crazy, you know, and pop, you feel me? Like I was saying, the pee patch going crazy. Let me bring it a little closer. Get closer, oh, get closer. So y'all can see how nice that is. Um, now, the only thing they switched up on this newer one is that they put a patch on it. Uh, all the other ones don't have a patch on the sleeve. And they put a patch on the sleeve of this one, which is uh, just, you know, <laughs> a nice little touch. You know, this is a championship football patch right here. Eastern City Champions or RL City Champions. Where I, oh, East Division. I, I tell you, like, when I be reading words, be jumping. That's why I be like, you know. I'll be reading out loud. I ain't never been the type to read out loud in class. You stupid. They're not. On the other side, they do have some more patches on the sleeves, which is just, you know, too tough. You know what I'm saying? I like the fact when they be putting all these patches on, uh, you know, on their jackets because, you know, it's just, it's the details. It's the details for me. It's the details for me. <laughs> We're also country. Oh my goodness. We about to get into the back of this jacket, y'all. And on the back of this jacket, this is like 
Ralph's newest like tiger design, I guess you could say. But let's get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's fire right there. That's fire right there. Oh yeah. So this tiger right here is like Ralph Lawrence newest like tiger design. Cause like a lot of their designs that they're uh, putting like the tiger patches on has this tiger right here. Uh, sometimes they'll go back to, uh, they'll do like a vintage type of piece with the old tiger, which is on the next one that I'm gonna show y'all. But uh, a lot of things that they're doing that's like more newer art, you know, you'll see this type of tiger with it. Uh, and y'all, I'm trying to get this, uh, this, uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna post a picture right here, right here. I'm trying to get this sweater right here. And I'm gonna get this sweater, man. Cause this, this sweater right here, man, I wanna wear it with this. Just so I, that fire would just be, man, look, man. If I get that sweater, y'all, if I get that sweater, man, I'm gonna get that sweater. Ain't no doubt about it. Ain't no doubt about it. I said, this is just too tough, y'all. I love this. This is actually in the large is what I wear in jean jackets. I mean, I wear a medium too, but a medium, I can't really put uh, like a hoodie or something under it. So I normally like getting my jean jackets in large so I can wear like hoodies and stuff under them, uh, you know, so I can just make it a whole vibe. You feel me? Or sweaters, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so y'all in love with that jacket. This is probably my favorite one out of all three. All right, y'all. For the last and final box of today. This one right here is my second favorite. Um, I wish I would have got this in a large. If I could have found this in a large for a good price, I would have purchased it. But he only had a medium for the price that I just could not pass up. So I bought it. And um, you know, it's, it's it would have been my favorite if it was a large, but it's a medium. So, you know. That's neither here nor there. But let's get into it, you feel me? All right, y'all, we on to our last uh, jean jacket, collegiate jean jacket. And I believe this was the very first jean jacket, uh, collegiate jean jacket, uh, with like the PE and the Tiger and all that good stuff that Ralph Lauren uh, released. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I'm right. You know what I'm saying? But this was the very first one that I was able to get my hands on too. So I just thought that was very cool that, you know, the first one that they will come out with was the first one that I was able to get my hands on. I was just so happy that I was able to obtain this one. And uh, because, you know, everybody loves to start with the OG, you feel me? So let's get into it. All right, y'all, we got this jacket right here. Like I said, the embroidery going crazy. It's the same embroidery that was on the dark, uh, the black, dark, grayish one. Uh, same embroidery. Um, this P right here, man, so much detail. So much detail in the P, man. You can kind of tell like it's the original one because you know it got state champs on it, it got the football. And just the, the, the actual patch itself <clears throat> has like more detail than the others. Like this patch right here, I mean, it just has more like on that furry stuff. Somebody calling me, y'all. Hold on, let, let me answer the phone, hold on. What's up, baby? You said you was gonna get a rental car for the weekend. Did you already reserve one? Because you know there is a shortage of rental cars. Oh, for real? Yeah, you we were talking oh. about that a while ago. That's why the prices were so high. You need oh, to okay. go ahead and look right now to see what you can rent. All right. For a decent price. All right, y'all yeah, look into it. Yeah. All right, for the second time, my girlfriend, she just, I mean, my fiance, my Beyonce, rudely interrupted me. But let's get back to it. Like I was saying, um, yeah, P going dummy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, going crazy. Let's get to the back of this jacket, cause it's just so far. Back of this jacket is just going so dummy you guys i mean back of the jacket is going crazy details going crazy patch you can tell this patch is just you know patch you got a lot of detail to it man um you know rl tigers all the good stuff on it man this, this is actually my 
This, like I said, this would have been my favorite jacket. I like the fact that it's like light blue, super light wash. And, um, but it's a medium. So it can't be my favorite because it's probably the least that I'm aware. Um, just, you know, during the winter times when I want to throw a hoodie on or something under it. Uh, you know, or I might just lose this weight and, um, you know, get into it with a hoodie on it. You know what I mean? But, uh, like I said, I love this jacket. The details on it are just going crazy. Um, this is the last one that I have to show you guys. Like I said, I was able to get the, the entire family, except for, you know, this one right here, because I already had it in the corduroy. So I was just like, I'm not about to spend that type of money. You know, even though later on down the line, if I see it for a good price, I might just copy. You know what I'm saying? Just to say I really completed the family. And they got other jean jackets that have like, um, uh, uh, what you call those? Like the Letterman, like the Letterman. That's what these are. It just, it's, it just clicked to me, you guys. These are Letterman collegiate jean jackets. It just clicked. Now they got other jean jackets with like, leather sleeves on it but that's not really my style i don't want a jean jacket with leather sleeves that's not really it for me um now i do want to get some of those other letterman jackets uh like this one um <laughs> you know what i'm saying i do want to get my hands on uh, some of those collegiate jackets uh but those gonna really run you you know what i'm saying those gonna really run you five you know what I'm saying, and up. You know what I'm saying, people asking for a stack, you know what I mean, stack and some change for it. You know, those gonna rip, those gonna be the ones that's gonna really run your pockets. You know what I'm saying, so it's better to get those when they originally come out. You know, you might look at it and be like, man, 700 for this jacket. You know what I'm saying, you might get a couple coupons on it or whatever, but it, that is the best time to purchase those jackets. And purchase more than one if you can. And hold on to it, cause you're gonna be able to flip it down the long, long run. So, you know what I mean, so it's always good when you're collecting, you're learning more, uh, you're learning about, uh, you know, just how things go up and down like the stock market. I, I am very um, happy with myself for being able to buy all these pieces, collect all these pieces, um, you know, and maybe down the long run, you know, I might give them to my son. I don't ever think I'm gonna sell these pieces. I'm gonna just probably give them off to my son or my daughter, you know what I'm saying? Let them wear, let them, you know, travel back in time and wear these pieces. Cause that's what it's all about when you're buying stuff like this is about traveling back to that time, um, you know, so other people can recognize, oh man, I remember when that came out, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, my girl bought me this jacket, that jacket, you know what I mean? Or, you know, whatever, my mom bought me that jacket for my 16th birthday or, you know, well, whatever, you know, uh, someone gifted it to you. So you, you bought it at a good price. It always takes you back to a certain point in time um, and that's why it's always good to, you know, purchase vintage items, especially, you know, if they're super detailed items, you know, that's why I buy. But that was my two cents for today. Uh, like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Cause we're gonna bring that Ralph, that drip, of course, you know, I'm gonna keep, <laughs> I'm gonna keep, you know, buying, we're gonna keep, you know, hey, and I gotta do a, uh, a Poshmark haul, I think number six. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna bump it up to 3,000 this time because I know I done surpassed the 2,000. So we're gonna bump it up to a $3,000 Poshmark haul. I got, I'm looking at like 20 boxes right now. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. I'm glad I was able to come back, you know, kick it with y'all because I know y'all, 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 y'all mess with me and I mess with y'all. Y'all rock with me and I rock with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, we're going to keep collecting. You know, we're going to keep the conversation going. You know, we're going to keep dripping on them. Follow me on King Harry, uh, King Harry the 13th on the gram because, uh, you know, I be super drippy on the, yeah, no cap. Uh, so, like I said, Thank you for kicking it with your boy. Uh, make sure you, oh, I already said that already. Do what you want to do. I'm out, gang. Okay, bye.